rumor has it, rumor, rumor has it. Call out a name or you gossiping or you chatty patty. I am gossiping. This is the Rumor Report. I mean, I guess we on The Breakfast Club. This is where the tea spills, right? Right. right. On The Breakfast Club. Now, you know that iconic pink fur that Cameron uh, has that uh, Drake was wearing in that concert the other about two weeks ago. Absolutely. Somebody offered him $300,000 for that mink. I believe that. And he turned it down. I purchased that jacket probably literally realistically 20 years ago at a store called Apollo Signature in Harlem on 125th Street. What's the most somebody ever offered you for that jacket? 300000 And you're not going to do it ever. I didn't say ever, but I'm talking about the people who offered it to me. I didn't feel they deserved it. It was more of a stat to me saying, y'all bought Kim's jacket. It wasn't really like they appreciated where that jacket came from. If it makes sense to sell it to somebody who would appreciate it or put it where it's going to be seen and be historic that people know it's my jacket, cool. You know, you got rich suburban kids who be like, hey, Kim, my girlfriend really loves your pink jacket. I don't really know too much about it, but I'll buy it for her. You know, how much do you want for it? Like that type, you know what I'm saying? I wonder how much Cam has spent in dry cleaning on that jacket over the years. Because if not, it's got to have like a like a smell, right? No, not necessarily. Why? Because he wears... The weed smoke? Oh, the weed smoke. But, nah, but that the alcohol is out. that spilled on it? It is out That adds easily. to value. You that adds so? to the value. That's the authenticity. <laughs> but I wanted to buy Cameron's. Remember that pink range over here? Yeah. Mm. I wanted to buy Cam's pink range for my car shows. I thought that's mm. less like hip-hop... Icon. Yeah. Icon classic cars, you Why know? Why would you just buy a Range Rover and paint it pink? Like, who would know the difference? That's fraudulent. Who would know, though? He would know. People wouldn't know. Uh, anytime you see a pink Range Rover, you're going to think Cameron, whether it's the original version or not. Period. I, I ain't think It's like that. when you see a pink fur, you think Cameron, right. regardless. Right. Don't do it, Envy. That's fraud. Yo, that pink fur is so iconic. Lil Nas X was Cam for Halloween. I know. And all he had to do was put the pink, pink fur on yeah, with the no. pink uh, hat. Yeah, because I, I really, uh, I'm, I'm going to look into it again because I, I found it, but I was thinking about buying it. And I think I just think it'd be a dope asset for the car show. You don't even got to do a Range Rover. Amazing. You can do a Land Rover. And nobody no, will know the difference. No, no, absolutely not. That's part of it to have Don't Cam's get no pink discovery. Range, don't, you know get no pink discovery. You get don't get no discovery. pink discovery. Don't get no pink discovery. Yeah, nobody wanted, will know. I was trying to buy <laughs> no. Cam's, Cam's not, Range Rover. Me. Uh, Slick Rick's uh, Old Rolls Royce I was trying to buy and I was trying to buy Nas's Mercedes Benz like those iconic cars mm -hmm. that they wore on their covers I just thought that would be dope for the car show All right, now NBA Youngboy you know he's out in Utah and he was talking about how sometimes he's lonely I'm terrified of people and I'm very shy but I never knew why once I walk on the stage I could get it done but I'm terrified of people People are cruel, it's like you can't control yourself, so you never know what someone will do you. I always wanted to be a rapper, it's always my dream. I never had a plan B. Can't be on top forever, you know. I will not be provoked, I will, and I'm not going back to where I used to be. I only get more groovy from here. He also talks about uh, how Mormons used to come to his house all the time. You know, in Utah, it's a huge Mormon town, and at first he would turn them away. But then he started looking at it and saying, you know what, let me let me bring them in. Let me start having a conversation with him. Mm. And he was lonely, and he started having conversations with him. And now he's thinking about possibly he might become a Mormon. All I know is, uh, we got that audio? He playing audio? No, no, no. no okay, no, well, audio. I, that, that young man needs therapy. That's all. You know what I mean? To unpack some of that. That's it. It's just that simple. The brother sounds so vulnerable, and that's how anxiety works, right? Like, you may mm. not want to be around people. You know, people may make you uncomfortable, but when you get in front of a microphone or something or get on that stage, all that goes away. Why? I don't know for some people, but that young brother just needs therapy to unpack some of that. That's all. Yeah. You think You think the fact that he's all the way in Utah, away from friends and family and associates, you think that hurt or help? Cause Probably the best thing for him. Yeah. <laughs> he's disconnecting. Yeah. Mm. He also talk about that a little bit as well. I think I grew out of liking music, but it's like, it's therapy. It's the only way I can express it. I sit down behind the mic and just let things flow out of my mouth. Man, I was flooded with millions of dollars from the time I was 16 to this point in my life. And I woke up one morning and I was like, damn, got me. Man, look at the shit I spoke about. Look at the shit I put in these people's ears. And now I'm sitting back like, damn, I can't do it. But I promise to clean whatever I can clean. A lot of self-awareness in that man's words. Mm -hmm. That's how I know he's paying attention. You know what I mean? He's, 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 in, he's intentionally mm -hmm. paying attention to his growth and his evolution. His so, music is his journaling. Yes. That's what yeah. I hear. Mm -hmm. Yes. But I think he wants to change that. I think he's realizing mm -hmm. the effects he has on these kids and people mm -hmm. and wants to change that. <clears throat> and, want to, you know, and, and I love that. And you know why I think Utah doesn't hurt him? Because I think uh, as you get older, you're very 
cognizant of uh, what makes your energy go up and what makes mm-hmm. your energy go down. Mm-hmm. So if he's in an environment that makes his energy go down wherever he was, but mm-hmm. he he knows it goes up in Utah, you go find that pocket of joy. If Utah's where he finds his joy, why not? Now, I believe he was in Utah because of probation or something. So I'm just wondering, once that's over, if that's true, does he leave Utah? Does not he go if that's where his peace is. Does he move to Atlanta? Does you know? Not if that's where his peace is. And not if that's where he has discipline, right? Because yeah. actually, sometimes terms of probation and stru- the structure of that can be a lifesaver. Mm-hmm. I've seen it. Well, all stars in Utah this this <laughs> this year, so mm-hmm. the whole everybody gonna be out there in the next two three weeks. Damn. <laughs> is that what you call a disturbance yeah, of the that, peace? That is definitely a disturbance. <laughs> is that a disturbance? <laughs> just, y'all don't have places where y'all find peace? Like, just, Absol- like random Tulum. places? T- T- Tulum. Tulum, Mexico. I go first okay. every year by myself. Okay. Yeah. Tulum. What about yours? Um, Outside of the crib and outside of the out of Yeah, states? outside of the home. Oh, there's so many different places. What a blessing, though, that you find peace in your home. No, you know what? I found more. I find more peace no, in my home. No, some people don't. No, my peace is my home. Like that's yeah. when I go in the house and I don't have to worry about anything. It's just yeah. you're just Rashawn. You're just dad. You're mm. just babe. You're just boo. You like, mm-hmm. and, I, and that's that's my peace. My random peace location is Atlantic City. Why I do not know. Really? When I go to Atlantic mm. City for whatever reason, because you know my daughter does cheerleading yeah, competitions, yeah, yeah, yeah. so she has a lot of cheerleading competitions in Atlantic City. When I go to Atlantic City and stay in the hotel I like to stay at, for some reason I'm. I just disconnect in a different way. I hear, st- I, I, I get stillness in a different right. way in That's Atlantic great. City. But I think my, my office too, I have an office in Jersey where it's like a warehouse where my cars are mm-hmm. and I just get to look at the cars and it just puts me in a peaceful place. Just mm-hmm. relaxes me. I have everything there that I need. It just, yeah. So Another one Jersey. I got a shout out is Jersey, um, yeah. Salamander Resort in D.C. Black owned. Oh yeah, uh, Bob, Bob Johnson's Johnson. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Johnson. Man, that yeah. thing is nice. Really? Horseback riding. In uh, D.C.? Fire- Right, it's I right outside Mid- Middle Middleton, I think Virginia. Oh, Virginia, yeah, Virginia, Virginia, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. fabulous. She's really. balling. I don't know if y'all, I don't know if y'all paying Got attention to what Sheila Johnson doing. Uh, you need to Google Sheila Johnson. Sheila yeah. Johnson out here winning in duh. a different way. I'm just saying. She's my role model. No, Let me be very balling. clear. All right. She got a few of those resorts all around yes, the world. Yes, I think Anguilla. Anguilla, she got one. Yeah. She got one in Virginia. Some just opened the D.C. Metro Hotel. Yeah. She balling, balling. Drop one of clues, Mom. She's Johnson. my hero. Don't know her, but she balling. And lastly, uh, Dr. Phil's show is ending after 21 seasons. Mm. So congratulations to Dr. Run. Phil. Yeah, what a run. 21 seasons. Drop on the clues bomb for Dr. Phil. Yeah. Dr. I know. I was clapping because it was ending, but go ahead. You don't like... Oh, damn it, man. <laughs> Jesus. Dr. Phil had a great run. He had you a like, great, you great like run. Dr. Phil, He's 72 lady. years old. I don't give a damn how old he is. Why you didn't like Dr. Phil? <laughs> Break it down. got to do anything. Yeah, well, yeah. Why you don't like that? I just thought Oprah could have given the platform to someone more culturally relevant. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, I got a whole theory. Don't We'll, we'll, we'll do it in So you don't time. mess with Dr. Phil, I Dr. don't do Oz. Phil. I don't do... Uh, look, look. She tried, look at she, it. She tried with Ayan Little. But Did that, she? Yeah, but that didn't go right. I mean, from what I, what, what what we've read and what, you know, mm. Ayanla said. She mm. tried with Ayanla. All right. Rachel Roy, she put on. I get what you're saying, though. Yeah, but yeah, you don't like you do. white doctors. That's what I mean. <laughs> no! <laughs> I will say, though, Dr. Phil. Hey. Very fair kind of me. <laughs> That's Do- very fair kind. Dr. Phil's been up to the Breakfast Club a few times. I've been on I, this show, okay. too. He's helped me sell some books. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, Dr. Phil. That's good. That's very proud of it. And Dr. Oz. Dr. Phil and Dr. Oz. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Phil, Dr. Phil, for sure, when I put out a shook one, he bought me on and he said, This is. Well, that's on brand. Very that's important on brand. Book. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dr. Oz helped me save my, my, my daughter when she was very, very sick. He got her transferred to a better hospital and took care of my daughter. Well, that's very good. He almost took sick. the state of Pennsylvania to hell, but I'm glad that he was helpful <laughs> to your. Family. I'm very serious. That's crazy. Jesus. I mean, he, he's talking about his doctor. I didn't know why. His politics. I, I don't know about his politics, but when it came to the doctor, yeah. he said, "My, you know, say my little baby." <laughs> yeah. well, Jesus. Okay. I don't know Him about him and Big Pens- Carson. Okay, go ahead. All right. <laughs> Up next, we got front page news. Don't move. It's the Breakfast Club. Go-